hey guys so today i'm gonna basically show you how to create a full notebook style kdp book and uh, this is the kind of book that we are gonna create it's i've already searched for this and uh, let's just look inside how this thing looks it's a basic notebook two pages and then they, these are the pages these are this basic line notebook as you can see the title says leopard print composition notebook college rule 110 pages large 8.5 into 11 so now we are going to do what is we are going to go to our page and this this is the link that you guys want to go to like kdp.amazon.com slash uus slash cover templates and i will leave a link in the description and if you guys have any doubt about the link you can definitely post in the comment section and ask okay so what was the size which was mentioned there the size was 8.5 into 11 so our first step is going to be choose the trim size and this is official official website of amazon so you don't have to worry about nothing they will give you everything you need the page is 8.5 into 11 120 pages 110 pages uh, 110 pages we are going to create only 100 and uh, because it's just it will be the process will be a little bit faster so anyways so paper color will be white and white is the most common one so let's just download the cover template you don't need and i have already downloaded this one so it's asking this demo so we're still gonna download this to show you so are we gonna open the folder and this is the base this is the file so it gives us two files one is a png and this is how it looks this is the cover file okay so that's what we have downloaded a cover file it gives you a pdf and a png format whatever you want to use so this is the cover file so what we are going to do is we are going to right click here we're going to go to properties we are going to see the dimensions 5242 into 3375 so we are going to go to canva creator design custom 5242 into 3375 i have already put that value so you can just type the values in there and it's opening the page just make sure that pixel just the the values was in pixels and I will show you the cell once again, once it's totally loaded. So, it's loaded now. See, 5242 into 3375. Okay, so here is our file. And what we are going to do is, I have already uploaded this. This is the basically this is the cover file so here are a couple of things that i want you to guys to remember what well, you see this pink pink thing this is our margin do not print anything outside the kdp do not print anything outside these margins so make sure that everything is in the white in the white and the easiest way to create a great cover is basically this is how you do that okay first let me just delete this click on this click on this or whatever color you want let's go with black okay this use elements and uh, we can use anyone and uh, right now the book that we are trying to create as like is something like this you can use anyone but uh, my recommendation is keep it simple i mean keep it simple depends on the niche so you don't have to keep it simple or complicated it depends on the niche so you can you can use anything it's just uh, let's see let's see let's see and, uh, then we are gonna go to square and uh, this square is chosen and then i'm going to put here Put it here. Okay. 
is just some text there My recommendation is whenever you do something like this just try to use a dark color because it's really it's like because then you can see the whole thing clearly okay. so okay now the the page is really nothing too crazy nothing too impressive but uh, what you can do here is you can create a pattern so let's see if we have pattern available patterns search what kind of patterns they have so here we have all of free ones and uh, this is how you're gonna do this just take this pattern from here to here position it back and uh, yeah so this is so you create this and let's just check if everything aligns or not so this is how you basically check this you take that cover file and drag this and hold on what, what happened yeah yeah Let's just see. Everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay. So, our cover file is created now. Let's export it in the format of PDF. Print high quality. We are going to download notebook. And uh, we are going to take start download open the folder so do one more thing try to keep the whole thing systematic so do it notebook new okay so we're gonna put it here and we are gonna rename this file to notebook cover okay so this this file is renamed and then now we are gonna create the interior so to create the interior we go back to the home page and then we are gonna create a design custom size so what was the page size that we wanted for this project 8.5 into 11 8.5 into 11 so look the it should be in inches so 8.5 into 11 go with create new design it's loading the page so what what are the pages that are used in this so the pages were used were college ruled notebook belongs to you can create this page really very easily just one page in the middle and the pages are basically college rule pages okay so how do we get these you can create it line by line or you can use one technique that i use and uh, it's way faster than that so this is what you do the page is loaded you go to this website template.net what they do is they provide free and i will put the link put a link in the description so just go there download this and i've already downloaded it but i will download it again for you guys go on open 
it's a it's as you can see it's it's a pdf a place on and uh, i've already extracted and i have done uh, some things regarding that so anyways let's go back to our downloads folder this was the document which was downloaded let me show you how this thing looks loading one second yeah this is these are the pages that they have provided us okay so basically these these are the pages they have provided us so what you can do here is okay one second let me just re-download this because i think there was something was off because it had like 100 left Save this one for you guys. Okay, one second. Okay, so this was the basic. Okay, this is the page, and uh, so now this. Let's just do one thing. Uh, this was the downloaded file and you can download it then you go to smallpdf.com smallpdf.com just reload the page because it's showing something else and uh, what we want is we want to use its feature of converting pdf into jpeg converting pdf into jpeg so what PDF do we want to use? This one. And we put this PDF here. Once it's loading. For some reason it wasn't picking up. So let me just do it from here uploading now so just we are going to take this it's processing so it will basically give us the images of that pdf which is really simple what i did and i can show you one more time one second if there was any confusion there okay so let's just before the so i have already uploaded that file here it will load so this was the file but uh, i will re-upload it for you guys so what i did was go to downloads and uh, where is that PDF that we are looking for? where is that image that exact image that we are looking for one second let me just do it one more time for some reason it's a little bit slow And uh, they, uh, they say to get the Chrome extension too. If you want, you can get the Chrome extension too. So let's just re-upload re this. And we are going to click on this. Extract single images. Choose this. Uh, convert entire pages. Choose this. Convert entire pages. Processing. Download. Download open this this right here and uh, we go to this okay. 
pressed and this was the file okay so let's just upload this file in canva and we're gonna upload this file in canva it's uploading it's taking a little bit of time for some reason okay so it's uploaded so this is what you do you click on the file you drag the file and then you put it here don't double click it just drag and drop so what it will do is it will readjust to the size of the page and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna check if everything is good everything looks good okay so this is how you create a hundred page book in like under five minutes so you you go on the top duplicate page then you go here to the grid view then you take these two copy and paste and then duplicate this then you copy and paste all the files as long as you can basically create pages so just creating the pages okay, it's creating the pages the page will hang for a little while but it's not actually crashing or anything like that it's just creating all the all the pages so now we have 100 pages as we go down and look 100 pages 100 pages then we click on download show the download button and here you go yes. oh no 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 one second you have to download it like this one second so i basically clicked on png we don't need to we don't need to download it as png we want to download it as pdf high quality print PDF print high quality. Again, PDF high quality multi page document. Okay. So we are going to download it like this. It is downloading. Basically, it's processing the whole thing. And uh, it's going to take like two minutes or something. So we are going to name it. notebook interior start download it's, it's downloaded i'm gonna go here so now we have cover and interior that's the only two things you're gonna need so what we are going to do is we're gonna go to Amazon Kindle page I'm gonna go to our bookshelf do all the downloading process so what I clicked was paperback paperback one second let me show you so I'm gonna click on paperback and then we're gonna choose a title for the book title can we can get inspired from the title here is yes. because at the end of the day no, we, we don't have to go very fancy on the title because uh, it's nothing too crazy don't just copy and paste it make sure that you never copy and paste the title just make sure that you always always be creative with the title so this is what you do
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my cover. If my cover looks, I mean, if my cover can inspire me for something, because I don't even remember how you know what kind of <laughs> what kind of cover I have actually created. Because the thing with these ideas is that you have to be creative. Okay. So one more thing in the interior, you need you want to add one more page. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too in the process. Okay. How how do you basically add one more page to something like this? Okay. So this is how you basically do it. First, you select all the pages. Then you basically delete every page. Then you go to the normal view. Then you go to text here. And uh, let's see how their page is looking. So we can at least get some inspiration and get some idea what we kind of page. This notebook belongs to. This is a really simple text. Just put this notebook belongs to. Oh, oops. Do something wrong or anything like that, because you don't want to make any spelling mistakes. If you make any spelling mistake, then you better believe that TDP will not be impressed, and then, more importantly, your customers will not be happy. And if your customers are not happy, then they will make, they will cause problems. And now, more importantly, it's there's something called being a professional. So, anyways, it's just okay. So we done with belongs to, and uh, you can you can use a smaller font or anything like that. It's just, it's on you. It's nothing is there are no rules regarding this. But make sure that bleed and no bleed. Just uh, understand the concept of bleed and no bleed. Okay. So if if you are even when, whenever you're creating these kinds of books like reading they you will not have any crazy issues and uh, as you uh, we can check the interior too uh, about for the green and no bleed and all that all those things let's just check the interior if they they are bleed or no bleed and i can explain you the difference too so these are basically bleed pages these are not no bleed pages these are bleed pages so they you you just uh, need to be careful when it comes to pages like this because if you don't leave a margin they will cut out your text and these are lines so you don't have to worry about the lines but uh, whenever it comes to design or text you have to be careful but these are lines so there are no issues you just just put one thing and just search for element Lines. and we're gonna take this line and that's it it's not very complicated at all okay there you go okay so we can actually check it on the full screen if the page looks i mean eh, it's too big the font looks really big so we're gonna just smaller the font 35 yeah looks nice okay so next is we're gonna download this page too and we don't need anything else so just um, pdf print we don't need to belongs to page we downloaded the page we open the folder ne then we are going to use this website one more time we are going to go on merge this is website is smallpdf.com i'm going to choose the files okay we're going to go to documents 
go to files dropping this Choose a file and we're gonna go to interior because we want to merge it with the interior. So what we want is these two files should look should be together. So that will be our whole interior. And this these two files combined make our whole interior. So our file is uploading. Until that point, what we can do is we can go to our page. It's 100 pages, so let's just keep it 100 pages. A simple college rule notebook. Let's just keep it just right simple. Simple college rule notebook. Author's name. You can use. any name I, I will i will use mine no, no issue there now let's just talk about the description description you should never copy and paste the whole thing just take inspiration don't just copy and paste so what we are going to do is we're going to use their description but uh, we are we are going to rename and just make sure that you always always create your own stuff don't just copy and paste guys never copy and paste so this is what you do one grammarly and then where is that teacher document and uh, it's uploading it's uploading Next is Mars PDF. Let's, let's see if it's okay. Let's see if it's working properly or not. Let's open the whole thing. This notebook belongs to nice, nice, very nice. Okay. So let's go to documents. And we are going to use it full notebook interior. Interior. Okay. Now we can put all the documents there, whichever we have used, and just full notebook interior is the document that we want to upload. The other two are just let's prefer, so let's just I always try to keep the whole thing systematic because sometimes there will be so many files whenever it comes to you know design with these these notebooks are simple to create but sometimes there will be many files so just keep it very systematic. Let's just I have to type the whole thing because simple well designed this is a simple well designed notebook perfect for writing notes and jotting down your thoughts and jotting down important stuff let's just and stuff check out the simple this is really nice a sample of this notebook by clicking on look inside it's 
specifications if you want to write you can write specifications and if you don't want to write you can sort mat finish one word for binding word for binding made in usa a school year so if you want you can if you don't want you should not it says it depends on you it depends on you if you want to use you want you can my recommendation is don't use this you will not use you you will not need any of these things okay so i okay let's just copy and paste the whole thing it's just the i mean not not these all things just keep keep your descriptions because i i may not submit this whole i will change couple of things when i submit it because the thing is do not copy and paste guys the, the the biggest thing is like just because you get some content and just because sometimes i have seen whenever it comes to you know quick publishing because it's a numbers game so people get confused don't do not copy and paste okay unclassifiable is just you can you can put it in any category i mean you can you can look at the category what other people are putting their books in So let's see, graffiti and street art, art and photography. Uh, our is not in that. Uh, so let's just see if we can go in study aids. General. Let's just keep it general. And uh, and make sure that you do proper research. Whenever it comes to these, just do your very good research because this is basically a case, not necessarily. Uh, you know research tutorial this is just uploading and creating and uploading so just research just research the whole thing and from what what i have learned is description doesn't affect your rankings that much it's all about creating a good cover categories and title and your niche research of course so and these keywords also affect sometimes uh, they are not anything crazy just you have to do some research for these keywords you can use different tools for these and uh, whatever describes your product the best just put those keywords there okay let's go save and continue next point so get a free isbn kdp isbn number publication date your live on amazon date will be used black and white with white white and our what was the size of the pages that we have used okay let's just check from here because the exact size was 8.5 into 11 so this was the size 619 is the most common one so standard 8.5 into 11 So as you can see, six point nine is the most popular one. Five point nine, you can get some data from here, which are the most popular one, and you can create in that popular designs. But there will be a lot of competition too. So, anyways, eight point five into eleven was our size. Bleed PDF only. It's PDF, and they bleed too. So, matte and glossy. Matte finish is always better because it's higher quality. So, in my in my opinion, it's higher quality. So, just go for matte. matte okay. So now it's time to upload the manuscript. Okay, so we click on upload the manuscript. Manuscript notebook new. We go here notebook new. Full interior. Interior is the manuscript. Interior manuscript is basically interior. So it's uploading now. Let's see. It's uploading and it will take a couple of minutes. So the key here is to understand that at the end of the day, you have to create as many books as you can.
is 4.16 MB. It's not that big. It's uploaded. So what you do is upload cover already have. We're gonna upload this book cover. It's uploading. And so the cover is uploading now. The cover was really small, so now <laughs> cover is uploaded. Okay, so it's uploaded now. Okay, so ISBN, hold on. Sign me if we ISBN, sign ISBN. So we actually forgot to put the ISBN. So now that we the Amazon has assigned us an ISBN. Okay, so now. Let's launch a preview. The screen size is too small. Continue. Okay, so it's the issue with my laptop. It's just talking about my screen size for my laptop. It's preparing my files. Let's see. So what it is actually doing is basically creating a full preview of how the page will look, how the whole KDP book will look after printing. And checking my pages and checking my cover and everything and it is really important to preview the whole thing and it takes some time it depends on factors like your you know how big your book is and what kind of graphics you used and if there are a couple of factors behind it but uh, right now it's basically checking the whole thing and uh, let's see if there are any issues if there are not any issues how our book will look after printing So as you can see it's checking the trim size and checking all the things that like uh, they are very important when it comes to KDP these things are extremely important because customer will not be happy if they don't get a quality product so we have to check all these things checking my fonts and stuff like yeah we're checking everything it depends on what kind of book it is if it's a drawing book if it's a book with a lot of words, it's a notebook, so it has to take a little lesser time than those. So let's see. So it's on its final step generating a barcode for your ISBN. Take some time, but it's it's very important to check the whole thing. Okay, it's saving and let's see. Okay, so I have fixed the whole thing, and as you can see, it looks perfect. Well, let's just check the next pages everything looks good and uh, that's all there is to it and then we click on approve and uh, it's going for the approval process hmm, it's recording yeah okay so we have approved the cover let's go for the pricing now 
printing cost is this this much and we are going to go for next save and continue save successful So we are at the final page and uh, let's see so what prices they recommend 3.58 into 250 dollars so we are gonna go with the pricing of somewhere around the book we are basically taking reference from and, uh, it's 4.99 so let's go with Here it is, it's done. And uh, all territories, everything, every settings looks good. And uh, they basically set prices for every single, every single Amazon marketplace. And uh, let's publish this. Saving. And save successful and we're done and uh, so the save is successful and uh, basically it's submitted and we're done so that's the process basically to publish a book kdp book so i guess i have told you everything and uh, told you guys everything and so if you have any doubts any questions regarding the process feel free to comment below and the one more thing just to, it doesn't get approved immediately it's going to take some time but once it's approved it's done okay so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you